hello everybody welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing it is december 28th is it the 28th i think so it's thursday december 28th 2017 and i am so excited to be coming on to finally share my prayer binder with you guys and uh, there's a bit of a glare so let me just go ahead and show you the cover real quick so the goal this 2018 oh, well this 2018 it's the only 2018 Liz. what are you talking about the goal for 2018 is to have a better life, uh, a closer connection with God. Like, I want to be so close to God that nothing can come between us. Like, no problems, nothing, you know. I just want to be so close to God in 2018 that, you know, I succeed. Like, I just want to grow in 2018. That is, like, my biggest goal. And um, I set myself up to succeed because you know what they said. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So I'm planning to succeed. So God willing, I do come through with this. I set it all up. And my kids are home, by the way. If you hear them back, they're running around. And it's, you know, they have two weeks off. They don't go back to school till the new year. So <laughs> uh, pray for me, guys. <laughs> so anyway, um, I want to welcome each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, I hope you guys stick around and enjoy the content. Um... I am just so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, I have, you know, just, I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this is my uh, Bible study planner, and this is what I'm going to be doing in 2018. Um, if you guys seen one of my old videos, you guys know that this is the one that I had, and this is what I was using. And this is basically like a traveler's notebook, and it's made out of a hard chipboard. And I just have... Um, I added like a pocket there. This is like a dashboard and it's just some declarations. This is where I would do um, oops, my Bible study, you know, but it's just, I don't know. I think I just needed something different because I try to add color in here. I kind of made this with a paper stack from um, Joanne's, the butterfly, la mariposa stack. But it's like not me. I find it so hard to work with like. I guess grown mature colors I don't know <laughs> but I'm more of a colorful person my husband tells me I, I, I'm i like childish I guess because of the color taste that I have but this is too mature for me I guess I don't know I just I love the cheetah print that's my print but I can't do it I find joy in color color just brings me so much inspiration and it's just it's just me all around. Though my outfits, me, you know, my um, wardrobe, it's kind of on the dark side, but I'm very colorful inside. <laughs> so anyway, um, this binder, I got it in Dollar, not Dollar Tree. I found it in Goodwill for 99 cents a long time ago. And this is actually a planner binder from some company I've never heard of. I think it was called like um, Molly something, not Molly and Rex. Um, I forgot. I just covered everything up with scrapbook paper. Um, on the spine here, I added these little dangly charms that I found in Walmart. These were like $1.92. And it's just a little fairy and these two little purple glass beads with this little tassel. And yeah, I just stuck it onto this clip in there. And it's a ring one. Um, I just love this. So I just added the scrapbook paper, this little cutout. This is a sticker wall decal from Dollar Tree. And under his wings, you will find refuge is um, from the Bible journaling paper pad from Michaels. So what I did here is that I used my crop doll and punched these holes into the planner. And I close it off with this beautiful ribbon that I got from Michaels. And here is the inside. So in here... Um, I just covered this with that paper. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here to find out what's up with this binder, Liz. What are you doing? In 2018, I am going to be studying the word of God more than I did this year. Like this year, I really slacked. I could say I'm only human. Um, I'm not perfect because I'm Christian. I know sometimes people try and hold you up to a higher standard than everyone else. But I mean, come on, guys, like. You know, like, I'm I'm not perfect, you know. I, too, commit mistakes. Um, I will never be perfect, and I will never pretend to be perfect. So um, I know that automatically 
I am considered, I'm held up to a higher standard than anyone who doesn't declare their faith, basically. But I do commit mistakes. I do offend sometimes. And I do, um, you know, I realize that. And when I'm, I, I apologize. So, yeah. Um, I have the daily bread here. I got this in the mail. And this is just one of my little drawings that I do. So in this pocket, it, this binder is really cool because it came with this clear pocket. And um, and here I just have some of these happy planner. Uh, it says pray. It has a little Bible sticker back there. I have this daily bread that I got in the mail. And it's like a daily devotional. And it was for December to January. It's three months all the way to February. I didn't get to do it last year. Um, so I will be doing it this year. So I keep that in here. I'm going to be showing you guys in a bit why I have it there. So anyways, here is my little dashboard. And it's just this beautiful picture of this lady here. And I printed her on vellum. And I got her from, I think it was Pinterest. And I have her on this quote, well, this biblical text that says, She is clothed in strength and dignity. And she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. And I just love the way that looks together. So here is my first tab. On my tabs, I have a little note right here. I got my little notes so that I can keep myself together and try and make this as quick as possible. Um, I have a monthly. I have a weekly. I have, uh, it's called Truth, Noted, and what is this back here? Oops, the pen is in the way. Dreams and Prayers, Vocabulary slash Topics, and I know this one for sure is character study because I never labeled it. So in the monthly, let me go ahead and open it. I have a dash with a bunch of sticky notes. I have this little thing here protecting my Bible in a year reading plan. If you follow me for some time, you've seen that this was in my Bible. And it's just this reading plan here of reading the word in a year. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I just have it here, um, my monthly. This is where I wrote out, I'm starting with the book of Proverbs. You know, Proverbs has 31 chapters and there's 31 days in January. So I thought, perfect, it's a good way to get started, basically. So I have these monthly calendar inserts from the Target Dollar Spot. And I wrote down every Proverbs. And I thought for myself, this is what works for me. I need to see my progress like I'm a very visual person so as as I go along and I read the chapter I will check off where I read and that would help me see the progress I've made and it's just another fun and creative way of also you know you don't need the answer you can just have a sheet of paper with a little check box um, check box oh my goodness check boxes next to them so you could check it off as you go um, so here I have this little sticky note just in case I need to write anything else on there. And my baby's doodles, you know, he decided he wanted to play in here. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm going to be using this monthly overview for. It's just to break up my book so that every day I can come in here. And if for some reason I can't read a book on this day, I could just move it over, you know, make note of it or whatever. So this is going to be um, where I come to every day and look at what I need to do. So here's the back of that. I just decided to add this vellum here. Every back is backed by vellum because I wanted to cover the back of that um, insert. I don't want to see anything other than pretty stuff. So here I have this beautiful image from the internet. I looked it up on Google. Her Google search, it's called Dreamy Girl Images. I think something like that. I put that in there. And then this doily here, I just reinforced it with some binder reinforcers or hold reinforcers. And here is my Today tab. So I have this beautiful paper from Michael's on there. So on my today tab, what I'm going to be doing is going to be like the weekly. Um, it's my weekly inserts. This is what I have in here. But I have sticky notes on the back of this dashboard here. And I have this beautiful quote right here that I just absolutely love. So um, I just printed it on vellum so that I can overlay it on this beautiful background of flowers there. So on my weekly overview, I'm going to be doing my daily devotionals. This is where I'm going to be using our daily bread. Our daily bread, I'll just, you know, write down the text and a little 
application of how it applies to me or any thoughts that I may have had with that um, verse. So that's where I'm going to be doing that. And on this little piece of acetate here, I'm going to be keeping a weekly text that I want us to, to memorize because I think it's very important that we memorize the word of God, especially if you're someone that goes out to witness or just everyone in general so that you can defend your faith. You know, sometimes people ask you, OK, so um, why are you a Christian or, you know, you need to always be able to respond with scripture because the word of God does more effect than our words will ever do. Our words are just words. The word of God is the living word of God and it will do an effect. It ha It's a double-edged sword, basically. And it can, um, people can take it good or sometimes people, you know, get offended by truth. And we know the word of God is truth. So um, it is never our intent. Let me clarify that. It is never our intent to go out and offend people with the word. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my baby was crying. they boys will be boys right so what i was saying is that um it is never our intent to go out and offend people with the word of god that is not what we are here for we're here to help them um understand it and encourage them to grow in the lord we're never here to debate or fight or none of that stuff with the word of god that is not our purpose we are here to instruct and and help others understand whatever little um, knowledge we've gained by studying and all of that so I'm never up for debates on, uh, I used to, uh, when I first came to this walk, like if somebody didn't agree with my view on religion, you know, I would like debate that. And I learned that that is not the way to do things. You know, you can only feed them scripture and that's it. Like, don't try and sit there and debate a topic with someone because when people want to believe something, you know, they will believe it basically. So it's, you know, I'm not saying my religion is better than anyone's or that theirs is better than mine. You know, it's nothing like that. So let me just moving on forward. <laughs> let me just end that there. So this is where I'm going to be doing my daily devotionals and that stuff. So there's the back of that. I just have some beautiful vellum, another one of my little die cuts that I make myself. And this is from the Happy Planner. Um, I just took the tabs out because the happy planners are really going to be sitting on my shelf. So I thought I'd repurpose it and, um, it says messy bun and getting stuff done. So this right here is where I'm going to write down verses. I want to memorize and texts that are like key texts about my faith. Um, stuff that I can use to evangelize. I'm going to be writing it in this section here. So I just have these little sticky notes from Michael's there. And I have this beautiful, beautiful girl here that Christina, she is the crafty sparrow here on YouTube or, um, she has two channels. I forgot the other one. I think it's, um, his little sparrow. She, uh, made this here. She painted it herself and she did it. Um, it has a pocket back here. She made it in uh, her Facebook group called Glory Girls, and it is so um, beautiful. I just had it added in here because it's so special to me. Um, I just love it. She she has a talent for drawing. Like I just love the way she did that right there. So, um, yeah, check her out on Facebook. Her Facebook group name is called Glory Girls, and it's if you love to Bible, anything with um, planners, uh, Bible journaling, and all of that, that's your spot to be. So that's why I have the lined paper in here because that's where I will be using. Um, I'll be using it for. Oh, my goodness. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, verses that I want to memorize and stuff in reference to my faith and all of that. So then this is the other tab. And this right here is called noted. And this is where I'm going to be just writing everything that I study, where I jot down all the notes for and key points of my personal studies. And I'm from my Bible reading plan as well, like you know, reading and I find something interesting, like a little nugget of like wisdom or whatever, you know, write it down in here. So I have this vellum back here. I love this girl here. I don't know who she is. I just love her hair. You know, she just looks so free. And then this here, I printed from Pinterest. Um, I just layered the images and made this that say she may be quiet, but she's a warrior and her prayers can move mountains. And I just love it. So that goes there. I have this little dashboard with a bunch of sticky notes here. And then there's the lined paper. This paper clip was gifted to me by Melinda. I love it so much because she knows I love Hello Kitty and it's in my color. 
I'm trying to do this quick, guys. I don't want to bore you. And then this section here is dreams and prayers. And this is where I'm going to be writing down prayer requests, answered prayers, prayers for my marriage, children, family, and like just dreams that I've had. Because I've, you know, um, if you read the book of Daniel, you know, Daniel would uh, give me one second. Okay, so I completely forgot where I was and what I was saying about this tab, but it's about prayers and dreams and um I think I was talking about the book of Daniel that where he uh he would receive dreams and he would th get the interpretation of dreams and all of that. Well, that was a gift that I would pray fervently for and ask God to give me that gift um when I first came to this walk. And um I can say that there's some things that he's revealed to me in my dreams that with time have came to be. Um, it's not something I'm trying to boast in or nothing like that. Um, it's just something that uh, my mother-in-law suggests that I keep a prayer journal where I write down these prayers and, you know, uh, keep it all together. So inside of this tab here, I have some sticky notes. I have this little tab here. It's a little image that I painted in. I printed her off in black and white and I just painted it. I have little prayer tabs and a little just cute stuff. And then this is what I really love about this section. Um, sometimes when I go into prayer, uh, we have prayer nights at our church. And I just sometimes I have so much in my mind, like I start thinking about stuff that I need to go um, finish, do or people I need to, um, you know, talk to and all of this stuff. Like, you know, you can probably relate. Your mind gets invaded with a whole bunch of other thoughts sometimes. So um, I have 31 prayer prompts. It's not going to be like a vain, repetitive, repetitive prayer, but uh, just ideas that I can, um, you know, remember when I need to pray. So that's that. And then here, this is the one I absolutely love. I printed these off of Pinterest, by the way. And this is praying for your children. We live in a time right now where our kids, you know, before they go off to school, we need to cover them in the blood of Jesus and all of that. Um so these are like little things that says pray for their mind. Pray that your children would earnestly seek wisdom and understanding. Pray for their eyes. Ask God to guard your children's eyes and protect their innocence. Pray for their ears. Pray that your children will be quick to hear and that they would incline their ears to listen to instruction. And it's just, I thought it was so, so nice. Um, I found this on Pinterest, but here is the uh, website. I think lovinglifeathome.com. Um, so you guys, in, in case you have children that go to school, you know, sometimes in school, um, especially in public schools, the kids, they're all mixed in there. And sometimes some kids be so bad that I know because I went to public school and um, some kids are brought up differently than our kids. And um, yeah, so that is that. And I have these sheets of paper in there for that. <clears throat> excuse me and then this tab right here this one is vocabulary and topics so here i just have some vellum printed with that beautiful paper flowers this i found on pinterest um the other side of that doily and i just added the doily as a decorative touch so in here i have um this lot this graph paper and this is where i'm going to be doing all the like when I'm reading vocabulary words that I don't understand, I'll be defining them. I would be writing any topics that I want to study. Like, for example, um, I should have like done, a, done did an example page for you guys. I want to do topics, research about marriage and a bunch of texts that have to do about marriage um, versus about, you know, depression and anxiety, like stuff that will battle against that. Um, just personal studies of, you know like topics that I want to get into because there's sometimes where I'm reading the word and I just get an inspiration for like a sermon or whatever I want to write that down in here as well you know oh this and this and just make note of it basically and then I have these little sticky notes on this little this was a a pen I bought from Target and I just love the packaging so much and I made it into a little bookmark so that's why I have graph paper in here and then this here says, do what makes your soul shine. And it's just vellum again. And I just love the way that looks. And in this folder here, I have um, a pen loop. <laughs> and I have these little like tabs and sticky notes. And then these that I made, I used, uh, what is this called again? Mailing labels from the Dollar Tree. 
and I just like watercolor painted on them and I just put these stamps on there and I will just be using those uh, inside of here as decor so on the back of that folder I just have more sticky notes um I have this little this is for this is going to be for character studies this is where I'm going to be studying like I want to study the life of David the King David um what the bible says of him who he was what he did what did he do what he accomplished anything pertaining to king david so i found these printables um this is just a cute little decorative piece as well as a bookmark um it's from the paper pad from um the pink passport that my dear friend brandy gifted me and then this is just a little cutout from a target dollar spot notebook somebody sent me a note and i love the image so much and i cut it out so it's going to be for character studies, character analysis. Um, and this is just like a, what is that called? I printed one sheet and this is from the time warp, time warp wife.com. And this is where I'm going to be using this as a guide to study. And I'm going to just be using, I'm going to be using regular lined paper and it's going to help me like the prompts, you know, to get deeper into who he was and just write about him. And, you know, I needed a prompt to like, get me kind of started um sometimes we don't even know where to start so yeah that's what this section is going to be about just different characters that i want to study about i also want to study the life of ruth i want to study um jeremiah i want to study about elijah just those characters and um and then here i have this beautiful image of this lady here sitting by the water playing with flowers and i just love the way she looks and here is the back of this and it's just a little um that's a little image from Pinterest, and I just have that there. So this is my prayer journal or binder. This is where I'm going to be researching and just digging into 2018. Um, my husband told me, why don't you just start now? And I'm like, because I'm starting Proverbs, and it starts on the first book all the way to the 31st. So it's perfect for the month, you know. <laughs> so I'm excited to start this. And along with this... I'm going to be using this Proverbs study book. And that's why I chose the Proverbs as well. It's perfect. And it's just, uh, it's a very detailed uh, book. It goes deep into the studies of the Proverbs. And I found this at Goodwill. So um, I don't know, maybe you guys can find it in case you're interested. Um, what is, this is the name, Jack W. Hayford. It's called Everyday Wisdom for Everlasting Life. So I'll be using that along with that. And like I mentioned about Christina, she has a Facebook group called um, Glory Girls. And in that Facebook group, she's going to be starting a series um, that I'm very excited to start because I've never done something like this. And it is going to be about journaling. And you're going to be, basically, she asked us, to take an old book and I got an old beat up book my son had and he gave me permission to get, take I just dangled some of these charms on here this stuff that makes me happy feathers you know because Psalms 91 how it talks about God's protection birds because they're free hearts um, keys just flowers um, so I made this by um, book for that and I just painted it and I stamped this image on there and traced it out in marker. And it says, it's your time to fly. And I just put a bunch of feathers and birds because it signifies freedom. And I love flowers. So here's what we're going to be doing our monthly, or I think it's a weekly. Um, she's going to be giving out text, biblical text. And we're going to, I guess, journal about our faith or journal um, something having to do with the text. I'm not so sure, but... I'm all for it. And here is the introduction page. It's called The Art of Worship. That's the name of the series she's starting. So if you guys want to join that as well, her Facebook group is called Glory Girls. And it's just a fun planner, faith-based planner community. So um, she did recently start it. I think there's a couple ladies in there, but I'm so excited to do this. I've never done anything like this, and I'm so excited to see how this will turn out as well. So um, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through of my um, Bible study planner, binder, whatever you want to call it. I am so excited for the new year. I am planning to succeed and 
I just ask that you guys keep me in your prayers. And if you guys are going to be doing something like this, I would love to see your um, Bible binders as well. So please, if you do have a channel, leave your link below. I will, you know, I'm, I'm always love. I love looking at these kinds of videos. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bye.